Hello, you sexy nerds. I am Wildfire One. You are watching and listening to Nerds the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. This is uh, going to be a mid season episode. With me today is Ice Cold. And we're going to talk about, I don't know, you know what? Uh, it's, it's, we're doing this on Black Friday. And I think the best topic for today would be how far we've come with technology. Like, I had this conversation with a buddy of mine at work, I want to say maybe last month. And uh, actually, it was the beginning of this month. And we started talking about, um, you know, how how easy it is to watch movies, how, you know, how you have a computer in your pocket, how, mm -hmm. uh, how AI is actually a thing compared to it was, you know, science fiction 30 years ago. Um, mm -hmm. so let's, let's, let's start with like, what, what do you think so far? Like, let's, let's start with this. What is the biggest technological advancement in your opinion, ice cold, uh, that we've made um, thus far? It would have to be either for me personally, I think it'd be a tie between VR, how far we've come in that as, and, uh, AI. I'm glad you brought VR up because I, I that and that's one of the things I wanted to talk about. I recently got a uh, a PlayStation VR, which is like the, you know the the VR for dummies almost. Uh, <laughs> am I wrong? Like I love it, I love it to death, but it it doesn't do what like the you know PC does, which well, I'm not you, trying to be should, like PC master race. Yeah, especially you should spend probably an extra you know. Twenty dollars on Black Friday to get the PC, like the cheaper PC VR. It's okay. You know what? I it, the thing is, if I'm gonna get a PC VR, I'm gonna go Oculus Rift or something huge. It's um, way too expensive. Valve actually came out with their own VR headset. Oh yeah, I heard about that. And pe people are saying that it's already a lot better than Oculus. Wow. It was it the Valve Index? You know, about a thousand dollars for the full kit, but it's like four ninety nine if you get just the headset, and the controllers, and everything. Um, the VR station boxes are actually compatible with the Oculus. So if you're going from Oculus to Steam VR, oh wow, it's, it's interchangeable. That's cool as fuck. But yeah, it is. But but the PlayStation VR it really isn't that bad. I'm not. I'm you know I was it's, I was down on it. It's not. not. It's, it's good to. It's badass. It's good, it's good I mean, for its own reasons. I've played. I've played. You know, like. Like uh, the Star Trek Bridge Simulator, I've played uh, you know uh, Surgeon Simulator. I've I've got a few games for that already, and it's mm -hmm. fun. It's really it really is. And and we're you know we did a podcast on VR a while back, and how far we've come. And this just kind of shows. And I, I was kind of a non-believer until I put it on, and uh, mm -hmm. like I put it on, and I, you literally get sucked into this. Oh yeah, you do, you do. Um, there's actually. It's more or less a documentary of <coughs> instead of a game. Mm -hmm. But you can actually go around and learn stuff about Chernobyl in PlayStation VR. Oh, yeah. You can go and to, like, to, the to Titanic. Actually, to, to actually be there mm -hmm. uh, and learn about it. It's probably the best way to learn if you can't travel there. Oh, yeah. I mean, like I said, you can go, you can check out the Titanic, and there's other places you can go and look at and, and, and basically explore, and that's really cool. You know, and on top of that, that's a great learning experience. Mm hmm You know, um, learning about Chernobyl is actually a really cool idea, you know. I didn't see it on there, but now I, now I want to look for it. Um, oh, yeah. You know, and, and as opposed to our idea or our thoughts of what VR was in the 90s, and we've talked about this before, but we're going to go over this again because well, we brought up VR. Um, if, if you want a look at what we thought VR would be in the 90s, Look at the re like a recent movie, pl uh, Ready Player One. Yeah, it's that's pretty much what they thought VR. Well, that, was that was the be. that that's the expectation of VR. Like that's mm -hmm. what we want VR to be. That's where I think exactly. we're going to with VR. But in the '90s, they thought VR. Yeah, they thought they thought they can get away with doing something like that. We were nowhere near technologically advanced to do something like that. We were mm -hmm. so far behind in the times. We were wishing it was like that. You know, I remember like the Game Boy, the Game Boy, uh, the Virtual Boy is what it was called. Remember how bad oh, that was? Oh, God, don't remind me of the Virtual Boy. It was a phenomenal failure for, for Nintendo. And, yeah. uh, and And they were going with this whole virtual thing. And, and in the 90s, virtual reality was like a big thing. Maybe because it wasn't un up to obtainable for us yet. We couldn't mm -hmm. do it. Uh, but, I mean, we had like VR Troopers, that old show that was like the... Power Ranger wannabe show. We had like you know, movies like uh, Lawnmower Man, which was big on virtual reality. 
Yeah. You know, we were, there was a point in the 90s where we were obsessed with virtual reality. Everything was VR. We're, we're obsessed with technology that's out of our reach. Yeah, and I think I, I think you hit it on the nose right there as far as VR goes. For other things, like for a full body, you know, sync ourselves up like Matrix VR, there's something called, uh, oh God, what's it? Um, uh, development. We have to develop the systems. Yeah, we have to research systems where we can understand it as well. It was unobtainable for us in in the 90s. At least we weren't ready for it. Technology has advanced so much that we're at this point where we can actually kind of do the first, well, I would say maybe the third stepping stone for VR, as far as VR goes. Yep. Uh, so the next stepping stone probably is to somehow incorporate taste into <laughs> VR. Smell of vision. Or, or, or at least, or at least uh, you know, feel. Yeah. Well, you know, they and there's there's places out there. It's funny because I was looking some stuff up online a while a while back. There's places out there that have like heaters where there's fire at, and you're you're walking around. Oh. And you know what I'm talking about. So, you're walking so, around yeah, with a VR um, that's system actually, on. That's actually a uh, usable thing. Yeah. Like you could you could plug it into a computer even, mm-hmm. and say like I'm playing Doom. And I'm in one of the levels that's literally hell. It will straight out blast heat straight yeah. at you. Well, there, there, there are like places you can go to pay money, like almost like laser tag, but it's not laser tag. It's like VR tag, and then oh, you've got yeah. this thing on your head, and you're walking around, and you got this gun, and you're shooting stuff, and they have like little heaters and stuff where the fire's supposed to be. It even, I think you're even supposed to sign so like a waiver that says, you know, hey, I'm not, I'm not responsible if, if I touch fire. the fire, <laughs> you know. And, you it, get <laughs> and it's cool as fuck. Like, you know, in the nineties, I don't think we, we, we dreamed of it. We dreamt of it, but we, we never, yeah, we dreamt of it, but we couldn't really do anything about we it. We never thought it was going to happen. You know, we never mm-hmm. thought we were going to be, you know, I want to say maybe what, 20, almost 30 years later where we're at now, you know, it's, it's now where we're, where we can put the headset on and we move around everything. Your environment moves around you and yeah. it's really cool. It's really actually, it's amazing that we've come this far. Like, like, I probably have what they would consider a quote-unquote first-generation VR thing mm-hmm. right here for that's straight up just for phones. Yeah, I remember seeing those. Like Those are pretty badass, first, too. Yeah, oh, they are pretty badass because um, nowadays with phones, you can use a Bluetooth uh, controller and everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's... You know, and, and there are... There, for PC, there are, like, a full-body motion controller, like... Mm-hmm. You move and it tracks you and, and it, oh, um, that's fucking there's amazing. Full, there's full body motion tracking for uh, Beat Saber. Yeah, I I heard about that. And that's freaking awesome. Like it you is. Know, so VR has come a long way. You know, look at look at music. We went from like from from I don't know whatever analog to digital throughout the oh, years. Yeah. Music sounds so crisp now, and it, who knows what's gonna happen um, next? But well, you know, the most crisp sound was the original vinyl, though. Yeah, true, but. Like, you know. like, I wonder, I have a test for your viewers if I could actually get this shit open. Okay. Um, not many people would know what the fuck this is. I know you know, Wild. Gotta get it out of its little cardboard prison. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the most crystal clear audio that you can get. And if you get hi-fi, like, old it's pretty. Style, it's pretty damn good audio. Oh my god, you get lost. In oh yeah, and you could scratch it. Oh yeah, I wouldn't suggest doing that. Yeah. Yeah, when, like uh, it makes a cool sound, but at the same time, it kind of destroys the destroys the audio. Yeah. Um, but we've come a long way there as far as music, and I mean, let's talk about AI. You know, we had movies like uh, was that Space Odyssey? Space Odyssey. You know, with, yeah. with Hal, um, that was with Hal, I believe. I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me, guys. Yeah, that, that's that's the one thing that scares me about AI. Um, like one of the most interesting cases recently, or I say recently, is about a year or two ago with AI, was Facebook started to develop its own AI. <laughs> it was kind of yeah, Wild, you've heard of this. Uh, Facebook started doing its own AI, and it was working just fine until they discovered that it wasn't speaking quite proper English. It was like very broken up, and it talked back and forth with its sister AI, and they developed their own fucking language. And we still haven't cracked it today. So that's yeah. the one thing that's going to be Skynet. scary about AI. Exactly. 
destroy all humans. Scary. It's good. Yeah, it is pretty scary. But I mean, we you know when I say when we say AI, we you know we're, we're back in the day. The best um, way to talk about AI would be like Hal from mm-hmm. Space Oddities, us Odyssey, and and now we have you know, and and that was almost like. You can't talk to a computer. A computer's not going to talk back to you. Well, guess what? Now we have, you know, Alexa. Now we have Alexa, Cortana. Cortana. No, shut up, Siri. Cortana. Yeah. Well, I, I turned mine off. I turned that bitch off because I know we were talking about her. Well, no, my my uh, computer's AI is Cortana. Yes. So is mine. But I had that bitch off. She don't listen to me. <laughs> it's bad enough with, with Alexa. She's... Thank God my TV. I have to press a fucking button. For it to hear you, yeah, and that's another thing. Smart televisions, you know, 4K TVs. It's that's another thing, you know, and, and mm-hmm. video game, video games in general. Like, look how far we've come. Oh, oh, definitely. Like, you know, throwing out on like uh, old PlayStation One or hell, even um, NES. Old NES. How you know? it's it's side scrolling and there's no real third dimension. Or even further than that, you know, Atari. Oh, like the 20- well, that's that's going way too 2800 far. <laughs> or whatever no no it's not no it's not because that was just in the 80s 80s and now here we are with Shit. here we are with like these amazing now, graphics now, now, here, here we are with games that can actually make you feel emotions yes yeah you know it's not just stick figures like kicking balls around and shit it's it's you've come we've come a long way i mean and we yeah. I, I mentioned skynet and this is interesting <laughs> we have roombas and shit oh god yeah you know, we, we have, have uh, literal fucking robots cleaning your house. It's not just that. So we have Roombas. We have uh, smart fridges, mm-hmm. which they, like, you know, no one's heard of smart fridges. It's uh, literally like a touchscreen uh, monitor on a fridge. And it actually keeps inventory of what you have. It lets you know whatever's spoiled. Yeah. Oh, and everything. if you if you you want to know if you have like milk or something, it'll show you a picture of what's in your fridge. Exactly, it's like, insane. You, you can you can fucking call it on your phone if you got store. It's insane. Is, like yeah, you can make a list for yourself with Alexa. You can make you know for sh- for shopping. You, it, there's all this stuff you can do, and it just blows my mind. It's so awesome. Now this is the question: like, are we gonna get spoiled? Like I, we're already spoiled now. I. Oh, yeah. Like, what if technology it, fails us? There is eventually going to be a day where we hit the uppermost limit with technology, where we can't advance anymore. And I believe at that point, all technology technology is going to fail. We have to start over. I'm talking like we get so because we have GPS now instead of maps. No. You know, like yeah. See, that's you know, my my maps would be out of date, but damn it, I still have actual physical maps. Yeah, in but case, what I'm what I'm saying is, is say say like psh, like something happens, EMP burst, something, whatever. Use your imagination. We, we get thrown back, and to we Stone have ages. nothing like we and but we don't know how to use a map because oh yeah, because we're all tailored to technology. We're all tailored to technology. Our our oh life God, is people. So yeah, people from. My generation, they're not going to know how the hell to read that map. They're not going to know how the hell to read a compass. Even though a compass, even though a compass is pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, but you know, there's people here that don't know, you know, how to put in a USB stick. You know that, but technology. The point, the whole point of this podcast is technology's come so far. I mean, look at, uh, like we were saying, I was. T- this was the big conversation I had, you know, with a, my buddy at work a while ago. Look at like Disney Plus. Look at look at like Netflix, Hulu, you know HBO Go. You don't even have to. You don't even have to leave the house to watch movies. You don't even have yeah. to wait for. You know, back in the day, you had a TV guide. Now you just, I want to watch Aliens. Pop it on, because you oh, feel like God. watching it. It's it, we're so we're so spoiled as opposed to what it was twenty years ago. We were lucky. You know, we we were lucky to get. Uh, uh, I thought it was crazy when I was in high school when. I saw like you know cable, and cable had its own guide. You know what I mean? You, yeah. you go, and I thought that was crazy. And then, and then it's just like a normal thing now. And then on top of that, you know, now cable's dying because of streaming. Crazy! I can just turn my television on and go, oh, I want to watch Netflix. And then, oh, I feel like watching. Name your show, you know, that's on Netflix. Name your show that's yeah, on you, on you Hulu. Literally, you literally talk in your controller and it just goes off yeah find me this movie if it's not available it's not available and if it isn't available you can still order it Mm -hmm. now another thing that in technology that's really changed you know going back to like computers is the computer itself 
Oh yeah. Like back like back in the mid eighties, we had three eighty six. Which, if I remember correctly, was started off as like 16 megahertz, 33 megahertz. That, compared to today, is so freaking slow. Like, uh, this here Game Boy is probably on par with that. Probably. I mean, look at look at how hard how how, how big the hard drives were. You know, megabyte oh, was a big. Oh yeah. You oh, know the well, floppy drives back in the day. The mo- no, most of you guys are probably watching. You probably don't even realize what they are. You yeah, know, you look exactly. at that. Okay, if someone 3D printed the save icon, that's a floppy drive. Yeah, I love that meme. <laughs> if you had to install a game, sometimes you had to put more than one floppy drive in. You had to take it out, but another one. I have in. another thing around here, if I can find it, that your viewers probably still haven't seen, hmm. or have but don't remember. Yes, I got a bunch of old technology. Hey, old technology is fucking awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is a blank CD. Oh, we how, how would you music. not know what that is? There's a lot of people. Oh, I guess, you know, with MP3s and... But MP3s, exactly. it, it, this is the funny thing. MP3s are not new technology. Those have been around... No, they're not. ...since we started uh, going to digital back in the 90s. But, but this can hold exactly one album. <laughs> well, exactly one that album. Is, I, I got, yeah, exactly one album, 80 minutes. There's a lot of old technology that that i know we came from we we had to start somewhere you know what i mean oh yeah definitely we every every bit of information has a start point and an end point we just have to discover them both yeah and hopefully our end point isn't for a long long time i'm i want to do some full-on vr dives i want to be i want to do some full-on like sword art online shit oh dude so do i except i don't want to get stuck in the game well i mean if i got stuck in the game i'd probably die but you know, but uh, or or even holodeck, you know, like for sadly, Star, sadly Star Trek. with with my family, if I got stuck in a game of with like Sword Art Online, they wouldn't check on me You'd because be I'm usually I'm usually in here all day. You anyway. would starve to death and shit. That would suck. Exactly. I'm sure we're missing a lot. There's a whole we we've, we've come a long way with a lot of technology. You know, like sleep oh, yeah. number beds and shit like that. You know, there's a, probably a bunch of stuff we're missing, but. You know, these are the things that come to mind, and and these are the things that are probably most relevant on Black Friday. We've gone through a lot of shit, robots. Um, there's there's self-driving cars now. Oh shit, smart cars. Oh my god. Yeah, and said so, and like there's some cars um where you don't need gas anymore, which can be a good thing, but you know, what's the trade-off? Like you have to generate more power, which for to generate power. We still use fossil fuel. There's I think, always going to be some trade-offs along the line. All right, guys. You know what? Uh, if there's anything we missed, let us know. Like we said, this is going to be kind of a shorter episode. This is a mid-season, kind of like a, hey, we're still here kind of thing. We got stuff in the mix. I got some plans coming. Uh, I'm not sure when we're going to start doing the podcast on the next season yet. But uh, when we do, we got some good stuff coming. And I've got some cool mid-season shit in the mix as well. A lot of games... Coming out, uh, I've had time to play video games. There's going to be, you know, there's, you'll probably see some VR reviews and stuff like that in the future, oh, too. I just saw something. What if until, until Dawn had VR? Oh, until Dawn has a VR. Ooh, I yeah. sense someone's going to be tortured by it. Uh, no, she will not let me. <laughs> she's uh, she's done with that for, for about a year. <laughs> Oh, oh, so she has a, a cool down. Okay. I already so, have, I already have, I already have another game for her for next Halloween. So, but uh, <laughs> yeah, she's not. She, no, no. Uh, uh, Monster tried to get her to play it, and she's like, "Fuck you." Uh, Monster has that. It's like, it's like, it's like until dawn something like Rush of Blood or something like that. I can't. Oh remember. God. And it's it's a first person kind of shooter thing and it's oh that yeah yeah i played that it's freaky as fuck but i and i it, it, i refuse to play it fuck that game well, like it's not that bad there's just it's, a bunch of jump it's scares like, it, it's mainly jump scares yes but it's like a little carnival arcade ride we have to go around just shoot yeah cars. that's pretty much it and I, I really don't want to clean this shit out of my chair it was bad with until dawn i'm still hearing it to this day about until dawn and i mean hey the actually the final episode of that's coming up too Ooh. So, uh, it's, More it's, content. Yeah, it's one or two, I think one or two more episodes away. All right, guys, with that, we want you to stay nerdy. And stay sexy. Always. Have a good one. See ya.